It is time for this nation to stand up with one voice and to condemn and shun this movement called Black Lives Matter. I would like to see the Southern Poverty Law Center place Black Lives Matter alongside those other hate groups that were mentioned. First of all, there is no police brutality in America. We ended that back in the 60s. Ah, yes, those are just a couple of the golden nuggets from Sheriff David Clark's role as the go-to guy for Fox News for using speeches claims to attack the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, if Clark is to be believed, he's adding a new title to his resume, along with Sheriff of a Deadly Jail, Fox News contributor, and Democrat in name only. On Wednesday, on a conservative radio show in Milwaukee, Clark announced that he had been tapped by the Trump administration for an appointment as an assistant secretary in the Department of Homeland Security a position that would not require Senate confirmation. And while DHS has not confirmed the alleged job offer, Clark might need to update his application with this bit of news first reported on CNN last night. According to CNN, in 2013, Clark plagiarized portions of his master's thesis on, wait for the irony, Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. MSNBC has not independently verified that report. And joining me now are Wisconsin State Senator Lena Taylor and conservative Milwaukee radio Talk show host Charlie Sykes. Oh, team, 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 team. I, I suppose the first thing I should do is read uh, Sheriff Clark's response uh, to the Milwaukee Journal, Center, Journal Sentinel about the plagiarism charge. And he says, only someone with a political agenda would say this is plagiarism. And he said that in a, a, an email uh, to the paper. Uh, Charlie, I'll go to you on this first. Um, the, the irony, of course, is that the plagiarism allegedly was from the ACLU. Your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, um, I, this this may be the pretext the administration needs to uh, not make this uh, this appointment, which would be the most re reckless and bizarre since Michael Flynn. But put it in some context. How did we get to this point? You have the deaths in the jail. You have the out of control rhetoric. You have you know the, the threats against private citizens. You have somebody who's actually proposed suspending habeas corpus and jailing as many as one million Americans who might be suspected of pro-terrorist sentiments, and yet somehow he's considered to be a true conservative. So. There are so many ways in which Sheriff Clark has disqualified himself. This is just sort of the last little piece here. But, you know, but if they're looking for a way out of this, this might be it, if they are. And, and it's interesting that, they, that Senator Taylor, they would even, that this would even be considered. And again, we can't confirm whether he's even getting this job or whether he's just bragging. But Julia Kayyem mm -hmm. uh, said in the Washington Post, and she actually had the exact same job, this deputy DHS job uh, that, that Sheriff Clark claims he's getting. And she said, I'll just come right out and say it. He's not fit to serve at the age tasked with domestic security for all Americans. And just a few items of why she might think that. Just three tweets from Sheriff Clark. July 2015, um, 17 June 1936, Hitler united all police forces under one commander. Obama trying to do the same thing using DOJ to federalize local police. Wake up. Comparing Obama, Barack Obama to Hitler. Number two, Clark in October of 2015. Before long, Black Lives Matter will join, Black Lives Matter will join forces with ISIS to bring down our legal constituted republic. You heard it first here. And a third one, um, well, we don't have to go into any more than that. Senator Taylor, your thoughts. Mm. Exactly. Well, I'll just say it gives you a concept of what we've been dealing with in Milwaukee County. This type of rhetoric, someone who has been missing from action, who has basically been a fraud, not just in their thesis that they wrote, but also in their commitment um, and their oath that they took to the people of Milwaukee County. The failures that Charlie mentioned uh, that the sheriff has done in the jail, when you can allow an infant to die all the way to someone who has mental health issues and for them to cry for help and seek help for seven days and not be present because you're gallivanting around this nation uh, to help the 45th president, it also shows a lack of judgment by the 45th president. And so people should be very concerned. He is, uh, has a person who has no regard, it seems to me, for public life. And you know, for human and, life. And, and Charlie, this is at a time when the Republican yeah. Party is really struggling uh, to expand beyond, um, you know, an essentially 90% white party. And they turn to somebody like this as sort of an example of a person of color who supports them. But if you go and just look at just the Snopes report on Clark, he's currently the target of multiple lawsuits in Milwaukee County, accusing right. him of harassing a private right. citizen, his staff right. abusing inmates in his jails. Seven of his employees face potential criminal charges for turning off the water in a men's cell for a week, causing a man to die of dehydration. He's been scrutinized for a Russia trip. That's not a, a storyline the administration right. wants. Multiple investigations into the president's dealing with Russia. There's a baby that was uh, jeopardized in jail, a woman shackled while giving birth. Is this what the Republican Party wants to associate with? And if so, why? 
Yes, a absolutely not. Why? Um, it, it's a mystery. I, I think this actually has to come from President Trump himself. I can't even imagine that my fellow Wisconsinite, Reince Priebus, would have okayed this. But, but you, know, Trump, you know, while he has been AWOL as sheriff, he spent his entire time basically touting Trump, you know, posing for pictures in, in the T-shirts. And, and as Senator Taylor knows, like, I've known... Sheriff Clark for more than a decade and a half. And I think there was a time in which he could have been a powerful role model and a spokesman, but he was undone by this toxic stew of ego, out of control ego, arrogance, and political extremism. And I, 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 you know, given all the problems of the Trump administration, do they really want to take this guy on board? And by the way, as you point out, you know, to, to add to this bizarre, bizarre story, he announces that he's taking this job, but so far the Department of Homeland Security <laughs> has gone out of its way to say, no, no, yeah. no, we haven't signed off on all of that. Well, just as he also goes around, you know, Senator Taylor, in all of these medals, sort of making himself look like some sort of heroic military figure, and yet one of our great producers here, Tracy Curry, found online. She went and looked, and on eBay, there is one of the pins that Sheriff David Clark goes around wearing. You can buy it on eBay for $6.99. I mean, come on. He's I told you he's a fraud. <laughs> I told you he's a fraud. And I'm going to say this to you. And, you know, yeah. Charlie, I appreciate where you are. But, you know, he's your Frankenstein. You helped to create yeah, him in the fashion that is, is the rhetoric that he has done. And so I appreciate uh, you saying, you know what? This guy is over the top and um, really, with all due respect, Respect is not a good choice for Homeland Security or any position at the federal government. I'm just happy as a Milwaukee County resident that we finally can have an opportunity to have our governor appoint someone who can really do the job for the people and be a partner with Milwaukee, the city of Milwaukee, and not uh, very candidly be. Um, adding fuel to the fire and almost moving us to martial law. So I appreciate someone, um, you know, like uh, the candidates that I see. I had mm -hmm. an opportunity to meet uh, Mr. Lucas. And right. so I'm really yeah. excited for the fact that I believe that we will really be able to have someone in Milwaukee County who can yeah. do the job. Well, I, I wish we had more time to let yeah. Dr. Frankenstein talk about his monster a little bit more. But, you know, yeah, Charlie, and I have to give you credit for you own that. Yeah. I mean, you own the fact that talk, I right wing talk radio yes. helped build this. So I do give you credit yep. for that. Yep. State yep. Senator Lena Taylor, a Charlie. Extra Sanders. years in purgatory. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you can spend it here with us. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. Appreciate you guys both. Next up, the highly rated Lawrence O'Donnell will be right here on AM Joy after break. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.